Hi, I'm Tia. Thank you for watching. In this video, I would like to discuss palette knives and I thought we should play around a bit so that I can show you how to use it. In next week's video, we will be painting this pomegranate painting together and I used a palette knife when I painted the background. So I thought it will be useful and helpful for you to practice a bit this week before watching the next video. Palette knives are great to bring in a bit of texture into your painting. I do not use a palette knife in all of my paintings and when I do use it, I mostly use it in the background. You will see this painting here is an example of a painting I did where I used a palette knife in the, for the background. You get different types of palette knives and whatever you have will work and you will get a great result, so don't worry about that. But if you do want to know which one I prefer, it would be this one. I like the palette knife that is bent and it's a medium size one, if I compare it to my finger. Um, so you get much smaller ones and longer ones, but yes, I just prefer this one. I hate to practice without feeling like I'm creating something meaningful that I can put onto my wall. So I decided we should paint an abstract background together. This will help us to practice with a palette knife, but it will also be something that you can use and show everyone what you created. So when we finish painting the abstract background, I will paint some a phrase onto my canvas, but you can choose anything from words to a phrase to outlines of a picture that's something that's meaningful to you. All right, enough talking. Let's go over to do some painting and I'll show you how to use the palette knife. I know this might feel more like crafts than painting, but it is great practicing. To start off, I'm just covering my surface with a layer of paint. If you'd like to know more about the surface that I paint on, you can watch my video on what surface to paint on and how to prime it. And I'll add the link of the video in the description box below this video. I'm using titanium white, paint grey, burnt umber and cerulean blue U. But you can replace the cerulean blue with any other colour to get another colour scheme like red or yellow ochre will also be quite nice. I'm using oil paint but you can also practice this with acrylic paint. I prefer to make the corners darker and the middle lighter and I do most of my mixing on the painting. I also paint in different directions. This will help to blend the colours and make the background look more alive. When you are happy with the background, you can start using the palette knife. Scoop white paint with an angled knife and with the same angle apply the paint onto your surface. Do not press too hard with the knife and continue to scrape on the surface moving your hand a bit each time. You can also alternate between circular movements and downward movements with your hand. You can decide how much texture and contrast you like. The more you scrape the paint, the softer the texture will become as the colors blend. Use the white paint to scrape over the lighter parts of the surface. I use Zalkin to thin the paint. This improves the flow and makes the paint a bit more see-through.
I'm using paints grey to go over the darker parts. Thinning the paint is especially handy when using the dark colours. paint really comes out quite dark if you do not thin it but if you don't have zalkin or a similar product you can just take a bit of white with the paints grey to make the contrast a bit softer I'm now just adding a bit more colour. I like to use my brush when I'm done to soften out some of the texture here and there but you can play around and if you take off too much texture you can just scrape a little bit more with a palette knife. When you are happy with your background you can let it dry and then use a pencil to draw the words or the line drawing that you have chosen. I decided to paint a phrase when my sister and I were younger, we watched the movie quite a few times actually, uh, What a Girl Wants. And the one time my father was in the room while we watched it, and he heard the part where the father told the girl, why try so hard to fit in when you were born to stand out? And so my dad uh, liked this phrase very much, and he kept reminding us of this throughout our teenage years. And so this phrase is quite sentimental to me. So you can paint on anything that is meaningful to you or just a nice outline of a picture. Use the smallest brush that you have and you can also thin the paint if you have Zalkin. It is quite hard to paint fine lines so this exercise will help you to practice for when you have to sign your name on the bottom of your paintings to come. Thank you so much for practicing with me and please remember to subscribe to my channel.